You know that famous joke about how Linux user trying to install the browser? Well, now you can joke about how Windows user is trying to bypass Microsoft account. It gets harder every time, but it's never been impossible. So today I will show you the best two methods, how to bypass Microsoft account and use a local account. Both of these methods works on Windows 11 25H2 version. I tested those ways on different laptops, so I can confirm that they are relevant. So let's get it started. But first I want to thank our sponsors. Tired of low quality video holding back your content? You shoot great stuff, but maybe the old footage is just blurry. Meet WinX Video AI. The game changer for content creators. Check this out. This is my original video. Look at the noise, the blurriness, the lack of details. It just doesn't look professional. But with the next video AI super resolution feature, you can magically upscale the old footage. Watch this transformation. Now this is after, crystal clear, upscale to 4K, all the detail is restored. Winx Video AI uses advanced AI model to turn your rough shots into cinema great quality. Click the link below and download Winx Video AI today. Your best content starts now. And here we go. As I said, we're going to bypass Microsoft account by using the first method. Obviously, for this, you just need to insert your USB stick into the laptop and go through the basic installation process. Firstly, you need to set your region. Click on yes. Want to add a second keyboard layout? I will skip this option. So here's the thing. If you create a bootable USB stick by using media creation tool, this is a tool which Microsoft recommend to use. In that case, in this window, you will not see the option that you don't have internet. So I will connect to my internet and then we will proceed. However, after connecting to the internet, you may wait some time until it will receive the latest updates. So in this window, you just need to click skip for now. And the most important thing regarding the first method, you have two options, set up for personal use and set up for work or school, get access to your organization resources like email, network, apps and services. Your organization will have full control over this device. Honestly, you will not see any significant difference if you will select the second option. So you can click on next. And the most important thing here, you need to select sign in options. Then below face and fingerprint, you will see domain join instead. That's what you need to select. Click on it. Now you can use a local account instead of Microsoft account in 2025. So now you can name your computer. For example, I will type user, then click on next. Once again, you can click on next, or if you want to, you can create a password, but I strongly recommend just to click on next. And my recommendation, you should disable all of these options so you need to scroll down a little bit disable all of them like this then you need to click on accept and from this moment you also need to wait a few minutes until it will navigate you to the desktop so folks now we are in Windows 11 as you can see right now it's installing some drivers so you can see for yourself that it's the latest 25h2 version it's also running on an unsupported laptop by the way this is Windows 11 Pro 25h2 and the most important thing if we navigate to the accounts you can see that at the moment, we're using a local account instead of Microsoft account. And regarding the second method, you need to have a USB stick. I recommend to have at least 8 gigabytes of free space. 64, it's not necessary. It's just my USB stick. So what I recommend to have at least 8 gigabytes. And also I recommend to have a fast USB 3.0 flash drive. It will be much faster than the old one, the USB 2.0 flash drive. And then you need to turn on the machine. So friends, let's get into it. First of all, you need to insert USB stick into the laptop. After you did it, I recommend to navigate to the Windows official website. For this, just type Windows 11 download and navigate to the first link. A link I will leave in the video description. Here we are on the Microsoft official website. And as you can see, current release Windows 11 2025. And we have an update 25H2 version. So from this moment, you need to scroll down a little bit until you will see download Windows 11 disk image ISO for X64 devices. You need to click on select download and select Windows 11 multi-edition ISO for X64 devices. Then select confirm. And the last thing that you need to do is to select your language. For example, I will select English United States. Confirm. Finally, just click on 64-bit download and download will begin. 
for example, I will select ISO to D drive, but you can select your desktop or C drive. It all depends on you. I will select a new folder number one. Now be patient and take your time until it will download the latest version. And from what I see, it takes 7.2 gigabytes of storage of space. And I can say that this ISO is big, it's large, because in the past it took like five to six gigabytes. Great, we just got our ISO. After that, we need to navigate to the Rufus official website. So in short, Rufus is an open source utility and it will help us to create a bootable USB stick and bypass Microsoft system requirements. One of them will be Microsoft account. So click on this website, scroll down a little bit. And here we will select the portable version. That is, it will run a supportable application. If you wish, you can also select standard version. That is, you will need to install it on your laptop or PC, but I prefer a portable version. So I will click on it. Here you can see we have a Rufus and here we have Windows 11 ISO 25 H2 version. So we need to double click on Rufus. It asking us, do we want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will select no, because this is the latest version. Now, please take a close look and pay attention. In the device, you need to select your USB stick. And indeed, this is my USB stick and it has 64 gigabytes of storage. Next, you need to click on the select here and you need to find your ISO. So in my case, I downloaded ISO in the new folder. That's my ISO. Indeed, I need to click on open. Great. Then we can tweak some options. However, it's not necessary. In the image option, leave everything by default. That is standard Windows installation. Here also leave GPT partition. In short, GPT partition is related to UEFI and MBR, the older version is legacy. So most computers and laptops run GPT, that is UEFI. So there is no point in selecting MBR. Next, if you wish, you can name your USB stick, for example, Windows 11 25H2. And then you need to click on start. And I want to warn you that all data, all information will be destroyed, erased from your USB stick. So if you have some important data or files on your USB stick, definitely you should save them. And the most important two options that you should select, remove requirement for an online Microsoft account and create a local account. And you can type a username if you wish. I do not recommend to select this option because you can change the region in the installation of Windows 11. So it's not necessary. What I recommend to check is to disable data collection, disable BitLocker. And if you have a newer computer, you can also check this option. Use Windows CA 2023. If you have an older device, you can uncheck this box. Then click on OK. Then you will see this message. Warning, all data on device will be destroyed. That's what I said in the past. So if you have important data, definitely you should copy them. Click on OK. Now be patient and take your time until it will create a bootable USB stick with Windows 11. After you will see below the status green mark and message ready, you can close this window and safely remove your USB stick. For this, you need to click on show hidden icons, select this USB icon and then find your USB drive. Click on it. Now you can safely remove your USB stick from your laptop or PC. And finally, we created a bootable USB stick by using Rufus utility. And now we can install Windows 11 and bypass Microsoft account by default. And also we can connect to the internet without any problem or issues. But first of all, we need to insert USB stick into the laptop. Then you need to turn on your machine. And in most cases, you can press F12 key to enter the boot menu like this. In this window, you just need to find your USB stick. So in my case, this is Lexer USB flash drive. This window is kind of normal, so don't worry about this. In this window, just click on next. Click on next once again. I will select install Windows 11. Agree with all terms and conditions. Next. Now you can enter your Windows key, or if you want to activate Windows later, you can select I don't have a product key. For example, I will select Windows 11 Pro, click on next. Once again, accept all terms and conditions. 
if you want to do a clean installation what i recommend to delete all previous partitions but keep in mind if you delete all partitions all information will be deleted you can save those files on a portable usb stick or a portable hard drive or in the cloud in my case i don't have important information as you can see we have disk zero so literally disk zero is a single hard drive more precisely this is my ssd drive so i will delete all of these partitions delete partition delete partition once again delete partition do not mess with disk one so select your hard drive in my case disk zero as you can see it has only 120 gigabytes then click on next so we have a message that we can install windows 11 pro and we will keep nothing so we will not keep any data application etc click install so windows 11 is successfully installed on my ssd drive and now we just need to go through the setup process so firstly you need to select your region it will depend on your region click on yes then you can clarify if it's the right keyboard layout then click on yes if you want to add additional keyboard layout you can add it or you can click on skip and now please take a close look because here we have an option i don't have internet so we created a bootable usb stick by using rufus utility and now the option i don't have internet applies in our windows regardless as i said earlier i'm going to connect to the internet just to show you that you can connect without any problem or issues because it will bypass microsoft account by default so i will connect to the my wi-fi i successfully connected to the wi-fi then i will click next also checking for the latest updates so it's kind of regular process and as you can see this is the only thing that you need to do because after that it will automatically log you into your local account so that's it by the way this laptop is also unsupported this is lenovo thinkpad x240 and you can clarify that this is 25 h2 version if we navigate to the accounts you can see that at the moment we're using a local account so the first and the second method are usable my conclusions despite microsoft efforts to restrict access to a local account still you can use a local account even in 2025 however it's becoming more challenging and i'm not gonna lie it's annoying as i said earlier these two methods still work and i tested them on both different laptops so you can use them and also let me know in the comments below what method works for you if this video was helpful please like it and i recommend watching this video on how to install windows 11 on an unsupported laptop or pc